Three putt, three putt, three putt. It is driving you crazy. Every time you three putt, you are ruining what could be a good round. Well, you've come to the right place. I'm gonna tell you why you're three putting, and more importantly, I'm gonna help you understand how you can correct it and get rid of those three putts once and for all. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cope, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV and the Sanford Power Golf Academy. And if you're three putting, it has to do with distance control or what a lot of people might call lag putting. And today we're gonna to talk about how you can improve your lag putting and more importantly, get rid of those three putts. And I can tell you this, if you haven't already, hey, be sure to subscribe to US Golf TV. We love having you here. We love putting out content that's helping golfers all over the world play better golf. And also be sure to check out our website at usgolftv.com. We got a lot of really good written content, some good books, and some other things that are only available on our website. So be sure to check those out as well. So let's talk about this. Three putting, if you're doing that, you've got bad distance control. You are not lag putting the way that you need to. So good lag putting is about distance control. Now, how do we control the distance that we roll the golf ball? Well, let's talk a little bit about that. But when we get into this, I wanna first of all talk about the setup because you gotta be consistent with the setup and then we'll talk about the stroke. So let's talk about when we address the golf ball. Now, I'm a believer that when we putt, we want to have the ball ever so slightly forward of center. And when we come in contact with the ball, we want the putter to be working on an upward motion very, very slightly. Okay, maybe like a half a degree to maybe one degree. That's what we have found works for the best roll for the golfers that we've tested. You also want to deliver what I like to call a little bit of forward shaffling, just a tiny bit. I see a lot of golfers who struggle with their lag putting and their distance control because they're adding loft and they have the ball in the wrong place. So anytime I'm working on setup, I like to use my short game trainer right here, my rhymer, okay, my short game trainer, and I've got it set, nice little AO right here, so that it's just forward of center. So when you get set up, I like to position the putter right behind the ball, okay, and I've got it, I've got the arrow just forward of center here, and I'm gonna go ahead and position my lead foot off the B and my trail foot off the N. Now, because my feet are equal distance apart here, relative to the arrow, I know that the ball is ever so slightly forward of center. That's where we want it. The first place you want to look, if you're struggling with your distance control and your three putting, is the position of the ball. More than likely, it's probably too far forward. Could be too far back, but typically I see a one that's too far forward. So this is a simple, easy way Get set in there. I like to always position the putter behind the ball first. Separate, I go to the B, I go to the N. Now the stance width is a little bit up to you, but the key is to get the ball ever so slightly forward of center. Now the other thing that I like to do when I'm set up here is I like to see just a tiny bit of forward shaftly. Notice how I've got that there. If you're struggling with your distance control, typically what I see with amateur golfers is they have their hands too far back. So they've got a ball that's too far forward, and they've got a handle that's back, that as loft, the ball hops up in the air, and then they just have no consistency to their distance control. So that's a little bit about the setup. Now let's talk about the stroke, okay? So let me go ahead and just roll one first of all. I'm gonna roll one just down the, the path right here. So I got my, I'm gonna go through that same process right here. It's gonna roll one down there, good. Lag putting, I hit that a little bit hard. Yep, you can see it there, even bounced off the back edge. See, that was a little bit hard. Now, why is that? Well, let's talk about that. When the putter is moving, great putters, great putters deliver the putter to the ball when the putter is maintaining its speed. What I mean by that is that the putter has reached the speed that it needs to be at to get the ball to roll the right distance at the moment of impact. Now, you're, you, right now you might be thinking, what is, what, that's confusing, what does he mean? Let me give you an example. We've all been driving a car before and you're on the on-ramp on -ramp, and you're gonna merge into traffic. Okay, let's say the traffic is on the interstate and it's going 70 miles an hour for sake of discussion. All right, so you have this on-ramp and you just barely get on, the traffic is already going at 70 miles an hour. Now the traffic is impact. 70 miles an hour, that's the speed we need to get to to merge in there. So when we start on the on-ramp, which is your backswing, you've got to get to a point where you have reached the speed you need, in this example, 70 miles an hour, by the time you start merging into traffic. If you haven't gotten to 70, 
If you're slower than that, you're 50, you're going to have problems merging. You're going to have problems with distance control. That particular ball that I just hit there was too hot would be this. Traffic is going 70, and I just was like coming in, and I was too slow, and instinctively, okay, I knew it, and then I just accelerated, and I hit the gas, and I went from 65 to 80, and now I got problems merging into traffic, i.e., I've got problems controlling my distance. So the key to having good distance control is getting the speed that you need early and then maintaining it through impact. So let me go ahead and hit another one here. I'm going to make a couple practice motions this time. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lengthen out my backstroke a little bit, i.e. longer on ramp, okay, so that I can get to that speed I need a little bit easier. Okay, so the first one was a short on ramp and then really accelerated. This is going to be a longer on ramp so that I have more time to get there. So here we go, I got my setup. Equal distance, I'm going to give that a little bit of forward shaft lean. I'm going to have a little longer backstroke. Okay, that felt better. Okay, still a little hot, but you can see it definitely rolled a little bit better. So, what do I need to adjust there? Here's my variables. Length of stroke and speed or rate, right? Those are my, those are my variables. If I've got the ball in the right spot, you've already learned that right here with the trainer, right? You've already got that ball in the right spot, you got your hands forward, that's set up. Now it's all about length of stroke and speed. So I'm still a little hot, okay, I'm still a hot, so I'm gonna actually smooth that out a little bit. Here we go. Okay, that was much better. Okay, perfect speed there. So the key to good putting and not three putting is distance control, i.e. lag putting. Got to get set up right, you got to be consistent every single time, and then use, think of this analogy, I've got to get that putter to the speed it needs to get to, just like I've got to get my car to the speed I need to merge into traffic naturally so that as the putter comes into the ball, it's maintaining its speed, it's not slowing down, it's not accelerating, it's maintaining. And if you do that, your lag putting is going to improve, which means you're going to see a lot less three putts next time you head to the golf course.